Hey guys, it's Meek. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I started my brand with $250. I'm gonna keep this video short and simple, so let's get into it. If you watch this whole video carefully and do the steps as I say, this video is pretty much guaranteed to work for you. Only thing that may differ is the time that it takes, but it's guaranteed to work at the end of the day. I'm gonna assume you did a little research before this and that you should know that you need a mock-up to actually showcase. You actually don't need to pay for Photoshop or Illustrator for the first month. You could actually get a free trial or you can use an alternative like Photopea, which is basically Photoshop. You go to the brandbible.us to get free mockups, or you could actually purchase Sieg's mockup, which I actually really recommend. Here's one of the first mockups I made when I first started designing, and that's actually what I used for my first job. So basically, at first, I was posting slideshows of the mockup in different colorways, and I was asking people if they would like mess with it. And I was getting little to no views at first, but that didn't stop me. I kept posting it, and it was kind of hard to like differ my content because I didn't have the actual physical piece, it was just a drawing of it. But finally, after constantly posting, one video blew up and i cannot stress this enough if you keep posting quality content consistently you are bound to blow up it's all about if you're really committed to it and that video pretty much changed everything it got like 40,000 views i was getting a bunch of comments of people begging me to drop and stuff like that so when that video blew up i knew it was a sign that i had to get my sample done i couldn't just let the fame die out I had to do something with it. At the time, I was actually working at AMC. I was making about 200 something every two weeks. So I pretty much used all my paycheck and I paid for a sample, which cost me around $150. So now we spent $150. We only have $100 left in the budget. But yeah, I kept posting slideshows and they kept doing good views. I was getting constant like a thousand views. From that one video that I got 40,000 views, I gained about 2,000 followers. And also when I got home after that video, I made another video. And that video also happened to get 20,000 views. So those caused me to get a lot of Instagram followers. I got to, I think, 1,000 followers. And I got to 2,000 followers on TikTok. So from that point on, I just had to wait until my sample got here. So fast forward two weeks. Once I get my sample, I just keep promoting it on TikTok, keep posting videos. I was still doing kind of slideshows because I didn't really know how to do like actual talking videos or actual showcase videos. But I was still getting decent views, like 6,000 here and there. But yeah, so pretty much by the time I dropped, I decided to do a pre-order drop, which is basically they buy first. And then once I collect all the payment, I pay my manufacturer. So no money comes out of my pocket. So by the time I dropped, I had around 2,000 followers on TikTok and 1,000 followers on Instagram. I was a little scared because pre-order drops could be dangerous if you're not sure if people might buy. If only 1% buys, like you can't pay for the rest. But I was confident I decided to leave the pre-order site open for 10 days. And within those 10 days, I got around 50 sales, which is around 20 above my manufacturer's mock. Mock stands for minimum order quantity. His minimum order quantity was about 30. But yeah, once I got all the money from that, I closed down the site so nobody could buy anymore. And I actually paid my manufacturer. And I made sure to pay him in half. Never pay your manufacturer in full. Pay him in half first and then pay the second half when it's about to ship. So pretty much, I cleared all my profits, everything got paid, I saved a little money for shipping. So that's a very simple way to actually do your first job. It costs just $150 for me to make. It depends on what you make because your sample might be a little more expensive. But yeah, with $100, I made it. You could just calculate the profit. I made a good amount of profit and it was safe. It was the safest way I could have possibly done it. All the marketing was organic, nothing was paid for except the sample. And when I first did this, I had little to no experience, so it was... A little risky, but it was still pretty safe for the majority. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Once I got the orders, I basically just shipped them out. It cost me around 300 something dollars to ship all the orders. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much how I did my first drop with only $150.